Hi guys, I purchased this Xbox One S as is and I will be checking it out and fixing any issues I encounter in the course of testing it. So stay with me and let's do this. In the box is this box housing some documentation, the Xbox console, a micro USB controller cable, an Xbox controller, and a power cable. That's it. The console looks a bit beat up from what seems like moderate use. However, there are no dents or any signs of damage to the housing and all the connection ports appear to be in great condition. I am having a really good feeling about this unit so I proceed to power it on. I am greeted with this error page. Something went wrong. So I'll fix it. I try restart. But the issue remains. I try to reset with both options of keeping the games and apps and with the option of clearing everything. But the issue still persists. So my next option is to perform an offline system update. To do this, you need to visit the website xbox.com forward slash xbox one forward slash offline updates i enter the web address in my browser and i hit enter i click on the arrow code drop down scroll down and click on the link perform an offline system update i click on the step one drop down and click the OSU1 download link to begin the download. The file size is about 6.3 gigabytes, so the download lasts for 15 minutes. This step also requires a USB flash device no less than 6 gigabytes in size, formatted in NTFS format. I have an 8GB flash drive here and I proceed to plug it in my computer and have it formatted. Next, I extract the contents of the update file. And I copy it to the USB flash drive. The file is large, so the copying lasts for 27 minutes. When it completes, I safely eject my USB flash and connect it to the Xbox console. The offline system update is now active as you can see. I select it. And the Xbox system update begins. I sit back and relax, allowing the process to do its thing. The update lasts for 13 minutes and I return when it's done and I configure the Xbox as a brand new system using the Xbox app on the App Store. When the setup process is completed, I peruse the system and notice that everything appears to be fine so far. So I take some time to clean up the Xbox before carrying out any other tests. I spend several minutes performing a deep clean on the console as well as on the controller. 
a clean console and controller should certainly make for a better playing time experience. The console and controller look so much better now. And I'm ready to test out the Blu-ray player. I'll be trying out this soccer game disc. I connect the controller wirelessly and I insert the game disc in the player. The disc stops halfway and makes some noise as though something is stuck in the console. I try again a couple of times but still, there is no way to get the disc into the console Blu-ray player. I plan to open it up later and see what might be responsible for this. So look out for my video on this solution. For now, I will go ahead to download and play something else. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye for now.